We're finishing up our sweet treat in the kitchen this morning with Lucy. I'm so glad you know I love sweets and we've yes. been on a casserole kick <laughs> and some other things, but now yeah. we're making something with strawberry. Yes, this is a super simple dessert, very sweet, and it started with a shortbread crust and we just pulled that out of the oven and just let it cool down for a few minutes and this was just our super simple crust. We started with a stick of unsalted butter at room temp. We added a cup of sugar to that, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then once that was mixed together we added one cup of flour and a little pinch of salt and then after I sprayed this baking dish you can use either an 8 by 8 or a 9 by 9 I just pressed it down in here and baked it at 350 for about 25 minutes just until you get you know a nice brown it looks on there perfect and that would be great just to eat on its right. own. <laughs> so that, if you wanted to just go that route, you could certainly eat that. It would be great with tea or coffee. And while that was baking, Joe and I mixed up the, the topping here. And like I said, these are strawberry jam bars. So I just used a cup and a half of strawberry jam that I bought. And I bought seedless, but you can really use any fruit jam that you'd like. I mean, blackberry, blueberry, yeah. you know, any fruit that you'd like. Raspberry would be great. And then I just added the juice of one lemon and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and I just got that in this bowl and whisked it together and our oven is still on at 350 so I'm just gonna spread this out and we're gonna put it back in there for about 20 more minutes just until this sets and then you're going to pull it out, cool it down completely and cut them up. And you know, as you said in the first cooking segment, this would be great if you're having a baby shower, a wedding mm -hmm. shower, you have a potluck to go to and you need to bring something, this would be perfect for that. Yes, these are just like those um, thumbprint cookies, you know, that you've seen. Um, I used to love those growing up. So this is just something that is really easy to transport, you know, great to, to take out to the ball field or something like that if it's your time to bring oh, you know the snack so or something like that so now like I said we'll just pop this back in for 20 minutes and it's best to let them cool completely before you try to slice them <laughs> And for all of you who don't know, the Ace Hardware now open at the Baymanette store, the new Baymanette store, so they can stop by, not only get their groceries, but get some stuff for the house as well. Yes, it's great. Right there in front of the store, we have plants and everything you need for um, getting ready for the summer, grills, lawnmowers, so anything that you could want, you can get it right there. Yep, and be sure to check that out, but also check out this recipe online, fox10tv.com. It's also on the Greer's website, going to be great for those summer get-togethers. In fact, it's going to be great for our little get-together right here. I'm about to try it for myself.